Good morning or good afternoon, wherever you may be, or good evening, or good night. This is Jen at Jen's Arty Inclinations, a place to create, share, and play. Hello, hello, hello. All right, I'm adding turmeric to water here, and next I'm going to add some coffee. I thought it was time to dye some papers again today. So here I am having a bit of fun, and you know, this is a good thing for me this week because we're all in quarantine. Now that means not as many voiceovers can be done and also thinking of different creative things that I can do with the kids. So I just use the chopsticks to mix it all up. I actually use cold water. I didn't even bother warming the water up. And here I am soaking my first pages. These are actually the Woolies receipts. Being in quarantine, I'm getting quite familiar with home delivery. And of course, the first thing I got was emergency supplies for the kids. Oh, the oven, I set it today to 150 Celsius. And then this is my setup. I've got my papers and then next I've I've got my colour baths and then I've got my towels. I find if I put them on the towels first and then into the baking trays to go into the oven to dry off, that actually does work better for me. So I quite liked that idea that came from Kylie's Card Crafts. And yeah, that's the method that I've been using ever since rather than putting them straight into the baking tray. Anyway, yeah, I added some coffee over it. But, you know, it just kind of bleeds into it. So if you want some real splotchy dots, you are better to add your coffee when it dries. And here it goes into the oven. So, yeah, as I say, emergency supplies for the kids. And that is code for getting them junk food to try and keep them happy. Very, very hard for my youngest. Uh, he has bit of a routine that he needs to follow for his disabilities and obviously he hasn't been able to when he's officially in quarantine so he has found that very very difficult so any way that I can give him some extra comfort I'm going for that uh, anyway so here I had actually added some coffee I believe to the turmeric by this stage just to give it a bit of richness and depth and here's the first dry one I am amazed at the difference that you get in these colours and I love how you can often get them to come out in an almost pastel colour. Now obviously you can pop these under book presses, you can iron them or you can leave them as the crinkle, however you want to use them is fine and yeah this is pretty much the process for all of them so you can just see how some of the colours come out and if you want it nice and even pick up your papers and allow it to sort of drain across itself if that makes sense like you allow the water to flow and just keep turning it over if you let them sit in the baths for you know just a couple of minutes or a few seconds even you'll find you'll get a difference now you can actually see on these the pattern from the bottom of the baking tray so that was see how there's the circle on the bottom left there that was actually kind of cool the way that that came out and there's another turmeric one and that's on some writing paper because I'm always needing writing paper for my journals and you can see the difference between the turmeric and coffee all right next I decided that since the turmeric is yellow might try some green pages so I added some blue just food coloring I didn't do a lot of each page except for the coffee because I always need coffee I really just wanted to have a go and see how different colors turned out and had a look and to me that looked a bit bright but then when it came out it was so much more subtle obviously as they dry they all get a little bit lighter so anyway that it's oh, honestly it was a really fun session so there I'm just adding over one of the writing pages just a few dots as it's dry so that's what I was talking about before you'll find you'll get a better effect um, or a more obvious effect then I decided that just for something different I'd actually have these as flat bases and so I just put down some alfoil these are some more dry pages which oh, honestly I just I love the texture in the brown one there but you can see the difference with the flat alfoil on the bottom that you don't get the big circles on it and there were my first green ones I even did some tissues and I did that because I was just mopping something up with a tissue that was handy and then I went oh wow this is like using tea bags or coffee filters or you know other things and it really does stiffen up the tissue a bit which is very cool because I know I'll be able to use that 
in lots and lots of things. All right, then I decided let's try some new colors. I wanted to try pink, but this pillar box red was very, very red. So even though, yes, it is sort of a subtle pink, I thought, mm, all right, maybe I'll go for purple, but you can see the difference there. So that was still very cool to do, very much fun. And I actually really liked the cheap copy paper. So yeah, I just added blue to make it purple. And again, nothing terribly complex about it. And it was this really deep sort of brownie purple almost in the water, but actually it wasn't so much out of the water. Then I did quite a few where I had a go at doing crinkled alfoil underneath, crinkled alfoil on top. I thought I'd see if I could get some patterns. I made the purple a bit more blue after that because it just needed a bit more color, I thought. And there, look at the difference in the colors. Aren't they just amazing? You've got some purples and here are the sheets. You can see really close up in the wet how some of those papers had brought up a lovely grain. I put some alfoil on top of some to get a bit of a pattern in the middle of it. Like I say, I just did so much playing today. It was fun. I did up some of my little diary pages that can go on, as I say, on the back of journal cards or anything else. This is another thing that I really forgot about until the very end. But if you crinkle it up, then you're going to get a, that crinkled effect across your dyed papers. So here, these ones are dry that I did with lots of different colors. And then to finish off, I added some coffee to that purple just to make two different browns essentially, because I had this gorgeous book of poems with see the gorgeous little line drawings. And I wanted to dye all of those pages because they were quite white and they came out beautifully, so beautifully. I was really, really impressed with how they turned out. I think out of all of them, the book pages were definitely my favourite. And I let some of the water be drippy and dry on top of it. So like sort of little puddles on top of them when I put them in the bake sheets. And that's how I ended up with the more, um, what do you call it? I don't know, defined effects. I even <laughs> dipped the book cover because it was bright white. And so I thought, well, I'll give it a go because that'll be a cute little cover is just a nice little pocket notebook. I may just pull apart the spine and just use the front and back. But yeah, I just liked the worn weatherness of it. So there you go. Here are all the finished papers. My little book pages, my little diary notes, my tissues, my plain paper. Some of the papers, by the way, especially the ones that got more grain in them, they are actually cardstock instead of just regular copy paper. Really like cardstock. Stock. I think it's maybe 210 or 150 GSM. Hmm, I'd have to look it up. Anyway, I thought that would be quite cool to have some of those as well so that they're, you know, ready. But yeah, aren't they just amazing? It's just so yummy, 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 all the different pages. You can like and subscribe below. And as always, keep creating. See you next time. Bye.